Hello guys and welcome back to another screencast of Total OS Today. Well for this screencast I think I have something special in store. This is a release candidate of an OS that I believe a lot of people around the Linux community have been waiting for. This is Linux Mint 10 Julia running the latest KDE version 4.6. I downloaded this this morning and I ran a quick test of this on my desktop running it off the live CD and I have to tell you as a Windows Windows user I was impressed now I don't normally use KDE versions I found the typically find the KDE versions to be a little bit uh, slower more buggy more bloated just not my kind of operating system although they've always looked great but I gotta tell you what I saw what I saw so far I was impressed so what I did here what I have here is the latest Mint KDE 4.6 running it on my laptop in a virtual box with Windows XP as the host um, I was unable to install the guest add-ons and unable to change the screen resolution I fiddled with it but I finally gave up not sure why but let me continue and I apologize for the squished box format here as I call it so this is of course the default welcome to Linux Mint desktop that I'm sure you have seen before let me get out of that we'll go to the default desktop and uh, I did change the uh, color of the desktop here to this uh, grayish color to make it more pleasant all right let's go to the top right and we have the widget icon the toolbox uh, preview pane it says toolbox click to access configuration options and controls or to add more widgets to the desktop bottom right you have the same thing let's go to the left highlight some shortcuts here we have the time and date show hidden icons network interface my battery icon most recent device volume at 70 percent clipboard contents the update Linux Mint update manager shield and we have the notifications and jobs icon moving more to the left we have the show the desktop the quick access browser which I believe is the dolphin file manager and of course the now famous Linux Mint start button with the mint menu and I gotta tell you as a Windows user I think I think I think this color scheme here menu short menu shortcuts looks terrific all right at the top you have the search bar similar to Windows XP or probably more Windows 7 go to the left here we have documents contacts computer applications starting from the bottom of course applications we have your favorites applications menu sub menu instant messenger audio player Amarok media player by music player by default IRC client Quasal, Firebox web a Firefox web browser Mozilla Thunderbird software manager system settings terminal help me help me shortcut utilities system settings office multimedia internet graphics go to computer we have the uh, places system removable fixed home network root trash info center system monitor system settings shortcut of course my virtual box here to the right under contacts unread messages online contacts no unread mail and no instant managing messaging and of course we have documents spreadsheets presentation the GIMP image editor word processor using open office and the top it just says new and this is certainly new to the bottom left we have lock session leave switch user okay let's go to applications let's highlight a few things here let's go to, go to multimedia 
All right, we have acetone ISO, CD DVD image manipulator, Amarok Genome, K3B, KMix, Minitube, VLC media player, my favorite, or one of my favorites for both Linux and Windows. If I highlight the back button here, of course, we go back. All right, under graphics, Acquire Images, Digicam Photo Manager, DNG Converter, Expo Blending, Exposure Blending, The GIMP, Gwenview Image Editor, K Snapshot, Ocular Document Viewer, Open Office Drawing, Drawing Show, Photo, Xane, Image Scanner. Under Internet, click that, Let's see what we have. Aggregator, feed reader, Blue Devil, Bluetooth, I'm assuming, Chococke, Chococke, KDE micro blogging client, Firefox, Frosty, Frostfire, P2P client, Google Go Gadgets, nice, very nice. Uh, guard Dog, Roof Roof, Firewall, KFTP Grabber, grab this. <laughs> KGET Download Manager, uh, KMail, Mail Client, Conqueror, Web Browser. All right, what else we have? Copete, Dial Up, KRDC, Remote Desktop Client, KRFB, KTorrent, Mozilla, Thunderbird, Quassel, Reconk, Web Browser. Well, I won't go through every single one of these applications, pieces of software. Needless to say, uh, this thing is loaded. It looks terrific. Um, as a Windows user, I may be tempted to install this uh, on my hard drive as a dual boot because I just think it looks great. Let's take a look at one more thing before I continue. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the important uh, system folder menu sub menu here we have additional drivers backup tool bleach bit cleaner similar to C cleaner and Windows Dolphin file manager domain blocker htop process viewer KD partition manager K info center console root K system log K wallet manager Nepo muck backup software manager software sources Startup Disk Creator, very nice. Startup Manager, Synaptic Manager, System Monitor, Update Manager, Upload Manager, Windows Wireless Drivers. I hope I didn't miss anything on this list. Anyway, and lastly, we have the drop down terminal Yakuaki. KE. Now I'm sure this means something, but why Yakau Yakuaki the Walahala Hulu Malahala Hala? Uh, what is it with these names? Anyway, Aloha. Welcome to Hawaii. Yakuaki drop down terminal. Okay. Enough silliness. Let's go back to, to the default desktop. You know, I'm running this under Windows XP. Click, of course, you click the start button here and you have your you know, start menu, sub menus. You know, I suppose in some ways this is similar. You know, running it in Linux Mint, uh, you know, this probably, you know, more resembles Windows 7. But as, as, as a Windows user, I must say this is very easy to use. I highly recommend that if you are a Windows user wanting to try something new, or or for that matter, if you are a Linux user and are familiar with this, give it a shot. I like it. Uh, just make sure that you have at least one gigabyte of RAM. I believe this can install and run in 512 gigabytes of RAM. But, uh, of course, I can install and run uh, Windows 7 with 512 megabytes of RAM, but I don't recommend it. And uh, what I've just clicked here is just the system uh, settings here which you've probably seen before. But let me get out of this. Anyway, uh, I like what I see. This is Linux Mint 10. Julia running KDE 4.6. Let me take a quick look at the widgets, at the widgets, and then I'm out of here. If I can get this to pop up. Sorry for the slowness. 
in VBox. Okay, add widgets. And I think there are lotsy, lotsy to choose from. Let me just use the button here, scroll to the right. And these are the widgets. Very nice. I like this. I like having choices. Okay, I won't go to, through all of them, but let's just try something simple. Eh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What shall we pick? Um, okay, why not? Um, well, since I'm running this, install this on a laptop, why don't we install the battery widget? The battery, battery monitor widget. And there you go. 100%, I guess my battery is fully charged. Well, I could definitely 100% recommend Linux Mint 10 KDE version 4.6. Give it a try. I like it. And uh, this is Total OS today, signing out. As always, guys, I will catch you sometime in the future.